Hello everyone and welcome back to All Things Gumball. Today I just wanted to share with you um, how my day went. I got up early, uh, I got up about 6 o'clock, normally I don't usually wake up till about 7 because here in the Dallas area, uh, traffic starts around 7 and then it goes until about 9 in the morning and a lot of my locations are so far out, I mean I've got probably 60-70 mile radius. You know, if you put me in the center, I can go 60 miles in any direction and I'll hit a vending machine that I take care of. So if I leave before 7, a lot of the businesses are not open. If I leave between 7 and 9 in the morning, uh, I just get stuck in traffic and I spend an extra hour or two hours in the car, which I don't really like to do. So what I need to do is just find something to do around the house or find something to do, go to the warehouse, go to the storage unit, uh, come here to my office and just clean a machine or polish a machine. You know, like uh, a lot of the times you'll see rust on the bottom of the machines. Clean that off, clean the dirt off. Um, you know, uh, hot water uh, is your best friend when it comes to removing a lot of the sticky residue. Um, uh, Integrity Vending and Fun has uh, shared with me on her videos, uh, her uh, Trina, meaning Trina and uh, her little child, her little son, Brighton, hello Brighton, um, they use Goo Gone, and I've never used it, but that got me thinking I might want to start putting that into my arsenal of tools to use to get um, the sticky labels off the machines. So anyway, what I was thinking about in this business, when I was out running my route today, I was thinking that there's so much opportunity for growth, um, the sky's the limit, you know, I mean, there's always machines to buy and there's always locations that don't have vending machines. And I'm not talking about just the, like the gumball style, the bulk candy style. I'm talking about soda pop machines. The other day, just within the last week or so, I've had uh, three businesses ask me if I can put sodas or snack machines. Like one was snack and two were soda. So, you know, people are asking for these machines. So. Don't, don't limit yourself. A lot of times people will give me comments on my uh, YouTube channel and they'll say, I got one machine out. Good. Great. Great start. Go buy another one. No, don't stop at 10. Don't stop at 20. I mean, if you want to, you can. I mean, don't, don't listen to me. I'm just, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to not stop at this level here. You can go higher. And once you get here, you can go higher. You can always hire somebody to to help you if you have to. Uh, hopefully hire someone you trust because you're dealing with cash. So I just wanted to let that be the video of the day. I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope it's helping you build your vending business. Um, I appreciate all the feedback guys. I do appreciate all of the positive feedback and sometimes I get a little negative feedback. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, I think that's just part of life. You know, so if you like these videos, uh, please give a thumbs up. And if you really like these videos, please subscribe. And I, I bet you know what I'm going to say. I will catch you on another video. I do hope you enjoy these videos. It's, uh, it's kind of fun to make them and, you know, to, to see the feedback of the people that comment. And uh, I do appreciate that. I really do. Uh, I hope this is helping you build your business the way you want to build it. Um, I will catch you on another video. I bet you knew I was going to say that. I will catch you on another video. Have a good evening, have a good morning, or have a good afternoon. And sometimes I mix that up. I say sometimes, have a good morning, have a good evening, have a good afternoon. But I always say have a good afternoon in the middle because afternoons are in the middle of the day. All right, all joking aside. <laughs> See you later. And then uh, I like that saying that... Uh, that uh, Jim Jim Carrey used to say in that movie um, where he's stuck inside that domed world. I can't remember the name of the city now, the name of the movie now. But he says, if I don't see you in the morning, if I don't see you later, good evening or something like that.